What convergence means to me is that we have the opportunity to not only bridge the gap with software, but also with people. And so you have, say, a designer and a fabricator, those lines begin to blur, and they're actually able to work more in tandem and work closer together through that process. Today we really have the tools that we don't necessarily need these very specific disciplines, but they kind of blend together. So we can have a designer programming, we can have a designer creating tools for robots. As a user, you now have the possibility to control an entire process. In architecture and engineering, it's definitely easy to see convergence when we get the owners and clients together with the architects and engineers and we discuss how we're going to build these buildings in a faster way than we might have in the past and still make them efficient and cost effective. Construction companies are starting to realize that trying to get all construction done on a job site has made it very difficult because they're very congested, a lot of people involved, there are too many interdependencies of people and everything else, and there's no space to actually put the construction materials. All of them are looking to figure out how to take construction off-site so that you can make the construction site become more like an assembly plant whether it's wall panels or whether it is piping racks or whatever, build them in factories as assemblies or even entire modules like rooms, bathroom pods and so forth. And from those factories, deliver when needed to the job site so it all kind of comes together uh, as an assembly on the job site. There was a project that we did last year in Oakland where the client and the architect had this cool idea for this crazy undulating fractal looking triangulated ceiling. We were brought in and we helped design it. We 3D scanned the whole ceiling because it's existing office space that's going into. And then when we pick a final design, we fabricated it and installed it. This trend is benefiting every stakeholder in the construction industry. It's really great for the GCs because it leads to buildings that they can deliver with higher quality, higher safety, because it's a repeatable process. It's really great for the environment. For example, when Olympics happen in a particular country, all those buildings that are built up do not have a utility after the Olympic event is over. Because of these new processes, these buildings can be disassembled and moved as a whole to somewhere else or can be broken down and one stadium can be converted into two stadiums to two cities that really need it. Convergence to me means, in a real nutshell, change. Convergence drags from people all the way through manufacturing because in the end, people make stuff and they make stuff because they want to make their lives better, which means we all have that common better goal.